From what I hear, you haven't had a very good year either. Yeah, I can't figure anything out. I know that something happened the night of December 18th, 2004, but nothing remotely suggests that anything important happened on that day, other than the fact that Zach hit a pole with his car. A pole? Seriously? Yeah, but I don't think that that would make Zach all depressed and feel like he betrayed Max. Can I use this computer for a sec? Well, it's Blake, so... Sure. Look, I am not a bad person. I just do what I want when I want. And right now, I'm gonna show you how stupid you are. I'm sure Tim will miss you. Wow, I was right. But what? That's a little secret. It's right here. How did you even... I looked at your hometown's front page. I highly doubt that Zach's secret is page one material. Fine, don't believe me, but I just solved your year-long mystery. Make sure you tell Tim that when you finally get together. Oh my god, Zach. You know, worrying about Zach's suicidal tendencies sure puts things into perspective. I bet you just want to forget about proposing to Melanie. Okay, what the hell are you? Excuse me? Day in, day out, I keep seeing you. And you're obviously not the real Max, so what are you? It's really not that easy. Well, you keep telling me that if I propose to Melanie, I'm entering tragic territory. So if part of you is the real Max, then I care about what you have to say. But if you're just my messed up subconscious, I don't care at all. It's not really that simple. Well, make it that simple. All right, well, when I died, the real Max Gosser his... Hello? What time did Zach leave your house the night of the Christmas party? Um, I don't know. He was gone before I woke up that morning. When was the last time you know he was at your house? Around two? Where is Zach right now? He's right... Where's Zach? Not out here anymore. Yeah, uh, he's right here. Uh, I can see him, but um, he keeps moving, so I can't really pinpoint the location where he'll be in like five minutes. You know. I'm on my way. He's still okay, right? Yeah, he's just peachy. Good, because if he really does remember, we might be screwed. I don't know how he lived with it for this long. What did he do? What did he do? I can't tell you that. Then what the hell good are you? I'll give you advice about Melanie. You must feel like crap. First Vanessa made you feel worthless, and now your boyfriend's nowhere to be found. You know what? I... Who are you talking to? No one. Okay then, well, I thought I'd say goodbye. Where are you going? Um, right now I'm going to see Gina at Willie's, but tonight I'm leaving. Gina's at Willie's? Why? Why don't you ask her yourself? Melanie, why are you so rude to me? I'm not rude, I just have a lot of problems to deal with and I'm not in a good mood right now. Yeah, so what else is new? Melanie, I'm sick of all this crap. Chelsea. I mean, I don't care about you guys dying and lying to each other, but at least you can be polite. None of you appreciate me, especially not you. I'm just gonna get the hell away from all of you. I don't want to die and I don't want to be a bitch, and that's the only two things you guys can do. What was that about? I don't know. I mean, you've always seemed to be such a great friend to her. Geez, Melanie, for somebody who likes to focus on the present, you're doing a pretty bad job of handling it. Zach, we meet again. Yeah, I'm kind of in a hurry. My roommate's following me. Well, why is he doing that? Uh, I guess he thinks I'm going to try to kill myself again. Well, you're not going to, are you? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Well, I sure enjoyed getting to know you. It'd be really sad if you were gone. You don't know me. You know the Zach who didn't have this huge burden. That Zach's gone. You're still the same person. No, I'm... I'm the exact same person I was last year. I'm gonna do what I did last year, but this time I'm not gonna fail. Well, you have all these claims, but there's no proof. Hey guys. What are you doing? Just seeing if you wanted to co-write If I Killed Max Gassard to Free Willy's story. But I'm afraid the kids are gonna want to tie it into the movie. And nothing is worse than wanting to talk about Shamu and then- Seriously, Chelsea, why are you here? I'm leaving. I wanted to say goodbye. Why? 
escaping all this crap I don't want to deal with? Isn't that what you did when you came here? No, I... All this time, I thought that you were troubled and dealing with something you couldn't escape. Which I would totally understand. But no. You were just as bad as you were back home. Talk to your friend Ashley. Chelsea, the thing with Ashley isn't what you think. What? Why does she hate you? Something other than just you being a bitch?